KKHT wants you to meet three of the classiest guys in real estate. I am Chris Kelso, the maestro of mortgage. I am Rob Cook, the godfather of real estate. And I am Joe Orsak, the king of credit swing. And together, we're the, the Real, real estate, estate Rat Pack. Much like us, real estate right now is smoking hot. So whether it's buying, selling, or owning, you need to check out the Real Estate Rat Pack. They're here to take your calls and answer your questions live. Call now, one 800 808 55 Four, eight. And now, the Real Estate Rat Pack! Uh, <laughs> Just not going to change it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got the Screaming Goat follow-up right That's there. That's right. It's like a, a, a trio now, you know? Well, this is our Valentine's Day show, but our, you know what? No one brought me candy. No one brought me flowers. I'm not feeling loved here. I'm hey, Rob, you know, I was thinking anymore. about it, but I didn't want people to know that much about our relationship, okay. so... I decided to hold off a little bit. Well, I am going to do a shout out. Yes, uh, me too. Samantha I'll let you and go Wesley, first. two uh, beautiful ladies, are heading on their way over to the Liberty Kitchen to have pink pancakes. I don't know what that means, but uh, you know, Sam and Wesley, I hope you enjoy them. Think about me while you're eating them. Okay, that you know, you said pink pancakes and eating them, so I'm going to withstand. I'm not going to okay, say anything else from there. Off but I'm going to give a very big shout out, by the way. To a very special two women in my life and a little man. And uh, it's my wife and my daughter and my son. I want to wish them a very happy Valentine's Day today. Awesome. So, And also, as I posted out there, to all the great people that we have as friends, family, business acquaintances, relationships that we've developed, everybody here in this studio, including our producers and the new trainee, which we have uh, just met today. We love Ashley. Exactly. And and fine, if y'all can do shout-outs, I'm going to do a (laughs) shout-out. Absolutely. Right? (laughs) To my, my wife and, and best friend of 21 years, Kim, and my beautiful, intelligent daughter, Ashley, and my brilliant, warrior-like little son, Ethan. You see? So we have got the base cover. It's, it's kind of a hallmark. There we it's go. All right. We have, we have to do it. You know, and, and I will tell now you about gotten out of the trouble that y'all just threw me in. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure was on. <laughs> you know, if you do have a great Valentine's story or just want to do a shout out for somebody for Valentine's Day, yes. by the way, you can reach us all the time at 800 808 5548. It's a great festive show. We got some great guests in the studio. Best Valentine's story. If you have a great Valentine's story, feel free to call in. And if it's connected to any weird way to real estate, that'd be a bonus. Even better, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we have two beautiful women on the show today and then and, and we brought in some and we brought eye some candy eye candy for them, them. So, yeah yes. i mean i, well, you know, well, I mean <laughs> osha kept That's calling there was threats of uh lawsuits and everything that an employee discrimination that type of thing so we had to get a guy on the show so you uh, know that I, you know Chris, Bryce, you're, you're it I, I know you've gotten that question all the time how do you have all those beautiful women around you all the time in those pictures and we go we're just, I, I, we're I just, just living right i told you it's real easy i just hang around you yeah well. so, I, I got nothing on that so we so. <laughs> rob called over to chippendales and said do you have anybody that uh, works real estate <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know if they're talking about me. Or yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be one of those kind of shows. It will absolutely uh, Ashley, be. cue the music. Yes. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel a screaming goat come by. They did put a poll in here, but, you know, I don't know what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> it is Valentine's Day. Do we really want to talk about real estate today? Yeah, every probably, once in a while we have to. Every once in a while, yeah, we are I, called the I, real estate rat. Maybe it's because yeah. maybe it's because I've been with the same gal twenty one years. I don't know, but I would call people up. We had I won't name the guests since they uh, you know aren't aren't here today. But uh, we you know we get, wanted to get uh, some folk, different folks on and builders and whatnot and you know kind of a variety of stuff. And I invited some folks on and they're oh yeah man I'd love that that'd be awesome. Oh, wait it's that's Valentine's Day. Oh uh, yeah I can't I can't do it it's Valentine's Day. No so Day. you're making our guests feel like they were like the second, no third choices. Yeah, no, no. no hang on you know, no hang on <laughs> what was the, them- just to be clear it was it was the uh, the third spot because I didn't invite Bryce. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted it off the street, really. What's the show about? 
<laughs> and I'm like, what the heck is everybody doing at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning that they can't come you know, be on the radio because of Valentine's Day? Am I missing out well, on you something know, there's here? There's another is, event going on. What's going on? NRG is doing their fun run this They're morning. They're doing their fun run this morning. Fundraiser, and that is out well, that's what it Hershey is. Park. That is correct. So Everybody's probably doing too, a fun run for Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's too late to go join the run, but you go cheer them on. <laughs> that's, that's what, correct. So that's you know, what the right kids are calling it these days. Close to Elder Road. <laughs> we are uh, cheering them on from here. Yes. Che- go. Go <laughs> NRG. I'm yes. glad somebody's out there running. Go shorty. <laughs> In the party, like it's <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying healthy through osmosis. Well, you know, we brought in another one of Doug Erdy's people. He keeps adding these people left and right. He is adding individuals right and left. You know, we or have right and left. You, you know, right and left. You know, so you know, we have one of the people we're going to hear from here in a minute is going to be Jody Manfred, and we by love the way. Talk who we or exactly talk. who we who we love her by the way. Great individual. But you know, one of the common things we have today is we have three great individuals that are relatively new and successful in starting off in real estate, and so. When one of the things we talk about all the time, real estate, everyone thinks is, ah, it's the easiest thing to get into. And it's actually a job. It actually it, is work. It's <laughs> actually a that. career. And so, you know, one of the, one of the newest members of the Doug Erty team is Bryce. Bryce, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Thank you. That's <laughs> Bryce Stewart, just so you know, for the, for the record. Correct. Bryce so Stewart. Sure that's Bryce last name. W. Stewart. He's not going to be like, he's not going to be like Cher, you know, just one name. <laughs> right. <laughs> or you Moses. could brand that, you or, know. Just... Or, or The Rock. Now, now what do they call you with Chip and though? That's a different name, isn't it? Uh, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The, the, rock. <laughs> the Rock. The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. Great. I'm feeling star. You should go with star. Bryce Star. star. Bryce Star. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so, so Bryce, you're new in, in the real estate market. Let us know a little bit about what got you interested in real estate. Well, um, before I do that, Chris, can I sh- give a shout out to? No. Absolutely. Okay, my twenty third shout out, my beautiful you. bride, Karen. Uh, happy Valentine's Day! And today actually happens to be my daughter's eighteenth birthday. She's oh wow! Eighteen, 18 years girl. old. That's a big shout out right there. <laughs> happy birthday to, uh, the to Peyton. Cream. You're a beautiful girl, and uh, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. That um, is awesome. So yeah, I'm in real estate. I've been doing uh, sales now for about twenty years, uh, mostly in the construction business, in the uh, construction equipment business. I uh, started out in cranes. A lot of high dollar stuff, mining trucks, then into uh, warehouse equipment. Also doing uh, some road repair stuff with the Department of Transportation. I use their product all the time. You do? I do. I use their product all the time. I, I use roads every day. Yes. I, every day. We all use roads like every day. Yep, we like roads, right. Can you give me a crane at a good price? Uh, not at a good price, but I can get you a crane. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted one of those. Yeah. But no. come home, they're like, where's my car? <laughs> <laughs> Got into real estate here just recently, and mainly because of the opportunities um, that has presented itself to me recently. The real estate market, as everybody knows here in Houston, has been really good. Wanted to get a piece of that while it's hot, but also, you know, it just seemed like a good fit for me. I like dealing with people. I like making deals. I've worked in negotiations for, like I said, about 20 years. We've done everything from multi-million dollar state negotiations to smaller sales, but the real estate business is good for me at this time, and I do like selling houses. I like working with the people. One of the greatest thrills is just to see the smiles on the faces when you actually close a deal. I mean, these people, it's not like the other business where it's just work. This is home stuff for these guys. They're enjoying what they're doing, and I'm enjoying selling it, and uh, it's just it just seems good. And I've had a great mentor in Jody. Jody's just been wonderful. She hasn't been doing it that long either, but, man, she's a go-getter. She's a she go-getter. And, and she, knows, she knows so much about this business in such a short time, and she's she's really showed me quite well, a few you, things. And you were on a fast track to learn, Jody, because uh, you got busy immediately when you got in the business. She yeah, did. She, she, she did. did. She's uh, not in her head on radio. Yeah, right? she, literally, she literally came on. I never forget she came in. All of a sudden, like, I've got five Hang on, let me push the mic over so I can catch that nod. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you know, and, and we're gonna we're gonna speak to Jody about that because you're right. I mean, she came into the business and just tore it up from the very beginning. She came in, she learned. You know, we what's funny and Jody probably tell you this. You know, one of our first buyer deals, we worked together and we go through challenging deals as well. And so she was able to get through a challenging one, and we've done some easy ones as well. We've had both both sides right there. But you're absolutely right. I mean, one of the things about this market is it is a good market, but it's also important to partner with somebody who's in it for the long term, and more importantly, who can show you how to build that successful business because. You know, one of the things we tell everybody out there is while it's good and it's hot, it, you got to build that successful business model in order for it to continue to, to work for you. Well, and the other thing is, is getting with a good group like the Doug Erty Group. I mean, we, we've got the, the support and the resources that I need. I mean, I know a lot of people start off with some of the bigger real estate agencies and go with that, but you, you, sometimes you got to get lost in that. Right. And uh, with the with the size firm that we that Doug Erty has, has put together, it's just a great place to work and the resources are there and he lets us do our jobs. Doug. Bryce, when you, when you were looking at getting into the field, 
prior to uh, your move into real estate. Was any of that on your mind? Were you thinking about who can I work with? What, what can I, to be, who can I partner with? That sort of thing? I was, and that was important. And Jody being in it before me, well, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Jody and I are related. And uh, Jody had been in it for a while, and she set up a meeting with Doug, and I met with Doug, and it just looked like a perfect fit for me. You know, we all thought so. Thought we'd give it a shot. Awesome. Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of people that we get a, a mix in this show. I, I found over time here of, of people that are in real estate that listen to the show. And then there's the audience that is out there that has nothing to do with real estate mm -hmm. uh, that tunes in, which still kind of mystifies me. But mm -hmm. hey, you know, <laughs> why people listen to me, I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, me either. Yeah. <laughs> but <clears throat> we get calls occasionally from people that are considering getting into real estate. You know, that's uh, looking from an advice standpoint and looking at that transition. You had an advantage in that you were related to somebody already in the business. So, you know, the process of getting into, into real estate for a person who doesn't have that connection is just looking to jump. You know, talk a little about, I, I mean, I guess you did already, but talk a little bit about the uh, the angle of choosing who you worked with and why. Yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it. You got to choose the right people because when you're new at this, even if you do have a lot of experience in sales and process, it's still a big deal to have the right kind of people around you. And like I said, the support system and the resources. And like I said, a lot of people will go into a larger real estate firms because it's easy to get a sponsor there. You know, if they have 200 agents, it's easy to get lost in that mix. And with work, with, when you pick the right person and the right broker, we sort of have a team mentality around the Doug Gertie group. I mean, and everybody is willing to help each other. And uh, I just fear that, you know, if you get into this and you get into the wrong place, you just you run the risk of just sort of alienating yourself within the industry, if that makes sense. Yeah, if he says Doug Erty Group one more time, I'm sending him an invoice. I'm actually sending Doug an invoice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doug, we, we can sign Bryce up like a subcontractor. You. <laughs> <laughs> we, hey, well, we, you know, and, and one of the things you <laughs> talked about, and I can relate to this, is, you know, I came from that big corporate. I, I've been in the mortgage business for 12 years. Prior to that, I was, you know, doing international consulting and implementation, et cetera. And, and I like what you said as far as when, you, when I got into real estate, what I really liked about it was I was able to impact somebody's life on a day-to-day -day basis, on a real-time basis, and on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Whereas a lot of times on the corporate environment, whether it be sales or marketing or implementation, you know, those take years to realize, and you don't really see that, that fun of getting somebody into the home, right? That's you exactly sell a big right. piece of equipment. You sell a crane, right? It, it's going to go out there. All you see is a worker that's struggling to make, you know, get get a, a widget into a correct spot. Mm -hmm. You're helping somebody get into a home. It's a completely different feel. It's I mean, you become integrated with their family. You become part of what you've done. They remember you as being that one person who led them and, and, and got them into their dream. That's absolutely right. I mean, it, it feels good to make a sale when the people are actually personally invested in it. Yep. I mean, they, uh, you know, you see the smiles on their faces, the, the lovely bride who's getting their first home and, it's, 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 there's something special about it that you don't get in the other deals. But I will say this. I mean, it's, it's not easy. I mean, a lot right. of people think that, you know, you can get a license and start real, selling real estate. It's a lot, a lot of work. What, Price. Was, your, what was your biggest challenge? <clears throat> My biggest challenge in the beginning was just trying to figure out how to handle the marketing side of it. Because in, you know, in my case, uh, I knew who my target audience was and I knew that it, where their office was and I could go see them. But trying to make the phone ring, that's a little tougher. That's a little different. And so that's been the biggest challenge for sure. I definitely agree. Those are some challenges. You know, we just got a, a finger held up to us here in the studio about a minute ago. We're number one, right? That means we're number one. It <laughs> means also it's part of our first break that we're going to have to take right now. Bryce, how do people get a hold of you? Uh, they can reach me by telephone at 832-459-6500 or on the web at www.brycewstewart.com. BryceWStewart.com. We're coming up against a break right now, but stay tuned. We'll be right back.